Ready? Three, two, two one, one, go. And good evening, everybody. My name is Doa, and this is my partner, Dante. Once again, welcome to the 2D Podcast. We hope you guys enjoyed the last video we made, and it's been a long time since we last posted a video, as you all know. It's been reportedly three months since we last posted a video, Jeez. and we apologize for that, but we've been very busy. And we would like to, think, to take the chance to once again thank everyone for their support you have given us and for the positive comments that we were given from the last podcast that we posted. In today's episode, we're going to dive into a currently trending and important topic, hate crimes, specifically Asian hate crimes. And Asian hate crimes has been like recurring in the United States for the past year, reported cases being reported daily. This hate has been severely impacting the Asian population that is present in the United States. Asian Americans are often stereotyped as being meek, passive, or well-to-do, all qualities that would make them more attractive targets, according to research. That kind of passive form of racial prejudice can still harm Asian Americans, even if explicit hatred is not the reason they are being targeted. That being said, there's quite a lot of evidence suggesting that people of Asian descent are becoming special targets of violence. Take, for instance, there was a January attack in Seattle where a man was slugged, uh, a man slugged an Asian American woman after yelling that Asians need to be put in their place. The Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism at California State University, San Bernardino, recently released a fact sheet that claims anti-Asian hate crimes spiked by 149% in America's largest cities during 2020. A couple, yeah, a couple hours ago, I myself watched a news report on the TV that included many clips of incredibly hostile activity towards the Asian American group, with many of them being elderly and defenseless against their attackers. Of course, this has not been limited to the United States, but for time reasons and time constraints, we'll be focusing on that region. Additional information includes the NYPD stating that there has been a 867% increase in hate crimes lately. Asian population in America has been protesting for months due to the racism that has been happening. Stop Asian Hate is the name of several anti-Asian violence rallies which have been held across the United States in 2021 in response to racism against Asian Americans related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Many of these rallies occurred in the wake of a series of shootings which occurred at three Atlanta spans in which eight people were killed, six of whom were Asian women. However, the movement first began to gain traction after the killing of Visha Ratana Pakti nearly two months earlier. With all that said and done, let's start diving in a bit more into other details. So I think we'll first start off with uh, past cases. We can start with uh, Visha Ratana Pakti first. Um, yeah, like there's been like a lot of people like, like there's a lot, been a lot of like this thing. Yes, it's getting traction like now but like hate crime has always been happening in america especially for the minority like the minor minority population for years like like in america like the majority population is what predominantly white the minority are like the asian americans and etc cetera, etc cetera. so and it's been going on for quite some time and then Basically, and basically an example of the most recent like past cases that triggered the case was the killing of the Fichar Ratana Pakdi, which basically it was this event happened in January 28, 2021. And he was basically a Thai American man who died after being forcibly pushed to the ground in a daylight attack in San Francisco, California. So basically what happened was that he was walking in like a neighbor, like the Anta Anza Vista neighborhood of San Francisco on the morning of January 28. And an Amer- African American man ran across the street and violently shoved him in the ground. That he then hit his head in the fall and died shortly after arrival in the hospital. And then that's and then the whole incident was captured on the CCTV camera across the street, which then led to the incident being viral and led to all the stop Asian hate crimes protests becoming even more and more important because like if you because people are still doing these things on a daily basis like this is not the only case like that's happened there's been multiple cases of of like asian hate crimes where people getting like attacked like in california a 91 year old senior was shoved to the pavement from behind 
An 89-year-old Chinese, Chinese woman was slapped and set on fire by two people in New York. Two Asian American women were stabbed at San Francisco bus stop. And an eyewitness report said the assailant casually walked away in broad daylight. And then an Asian man walking with his one-year-old child in a stroller in San Francisco was punched in the head and back multiple times. These cases have been going on for like months and months and months, and it's just not stopping. And then like the responses, like for example, to all these actions, like for example, like to the Vicharata Pagdi death was like the death was motivated by racism. And then we'll take into context that this incident is actually a broader wave of racially motivated attacks on Asian Americans, for example, in the Bay Area and other parts of the, of the nation. And that uh, this all happens because of the tensions between the African Americans, uh, Americans and the Asian Americans because of this case, which is why like it's become such an international issue as well, because like other countries with Asian, like other Asian countries are fearing for their lives of their citizens who are currently residing in America, like because they know they are in trouble and they really can't do much except just pray for the best. So that's all I have to say. And um, another thing that should be um, addressed is that there has been a recent search, right? Understand that majority of this suddenly is recent. And that's not just, that's not just a coincidence, you know? Um, the reason that, one of the reasons at least, one of the reasons that there has been a huge surge in uh, Asian hate crimes or hate crimes in general is all due to the COVID-19 uh, virus coming out, right? So we've covered uh, the COVID-19 before in a previous podcast, very first podcast. Um, we know that it's come from China and that it's spread everywhere. It's spread globally. It's a pan- worldwide pandemic now. But because of that, a lot of people tend to blame China for it. And to the point that it's, it has been labeled as the Chinese virus, you know? And yeah, that's where the hate is coming from. Because people are just like, you're Asian. This is uh, know your place. Or this is your fault for bringing the... That's all the things that have been said. That it's your fault for bringing the virus here. Uh, why don't you go back? I've heard stuff like why don't you go back to what eating dog stuff horrible things horrible things horrible things and that's why asian hate suddenly rising now it's all because of covid19 and people are misunderstanding they're just incredibly evil in their in their ways you know what i'm trying to say not that you think that you think so too yeah i i feel the same way because of the fact that like you know like throughout this past like year it's not been a good year for everyone because of like the COVID-19 pandemic which we addressed in yeah. our first podcast but it's like yes like it originated from China okay like it all originated from China but at the same time like like that's what people call the Chinese virus but at the same yeah. time we cannot judge or we cannot judge them like yes technically it is kind of their fault that it happened but at the same time that does not make them that does not make it like a vital reason for them targeting every Asian American they see in the U.S. because that's not fair that's not a fair assessment yes like the like like the pandemic is going on again and again but so you can't blame china for this there's a lot of party at fault in this which i will, we will not go into like we will not go into like detail because we already yeah. addressed that but like let's just say there's a lot of party at fault so you can't just blame everything on china like i mean like yes they started it but does not mean it's their fault entirely and just because they started does not mean every Asian American that lives in the US yeah. or in the world is part like partially or at fault. Remember for what has Ratana, happened. Like, you can't say that. Ratana Pakdi was what Thai American, right? He was Thai, exactly. He was Thai. He's, not He's, not Chinese. Even Chinese. He's not Chinese. And then you can't blame that on what COVID nineteen or anything. That's just unfair. And my take on it's like I understand to blame the place of origin, but then again, I think it's every nation and country's own responsibility to control the way it flows in their country, you know? That's why I think it's really yeah. unfair for Asian hate crimes to stem from this. It's not fair because at the end of the day, like, like you can't do that because they're all humans at the same time. And like, especially in America, like what I previously mentioned, yes, Americans, they're predominantly white. Majority of their, country, their population is white. But there's also, there's also like the African-Americans, there's the Latinos, there are the, and there are the Asian, Asian Americans, and there are like, and then there are others. Right, but yes, but that does not make it like and and Asian Americans like they're the minorities, right? And like just because they're the minorities, that does not make the COVID nineteen pandemic like the whole China thing. That does that does not give them more reason for them want to target more of the minority population in the country. 
especially the African Americans. Eh, sorry, not the African Americans, the Asian Americans. Sorry, you can't say that because at the same time, that's not a fair assessment. Because after all, at the end of the day, we are all human. Like we're all different in our own ways. And yes, we could blame people on fault. But at the same time, yes, we like yes, we're mad. Like like that the whole thing started from China. But like we're out here. Like like we're here in Indonesia. But I don't bl- I, like if I see chi- like a Chinese person like walking into, I would like. I won't like beat them up. I won't like find, show them. I won't do that because yes, it happened from their country, but that does not mean that one person that I saw is the one who caused the whole thing. And it's not that's not a fair assessment because all they're basically doing in America is basically thinking that every Chinese or like Asian Amer- Asian American citizen in America is the one who is at fault for causing the COVID nineteen pandemic, which is absolutely not true. Because at the end of the day, it is not just Asian Americans. Who are like part of the who caused this pandemic? At the end of the day, it's everyone's fault for the pandemic to be ongoing for like this long. So that's not a fair assessment and a fair reason for people to contradict and to judge, like like judge and attack Asian Americans, like like in where they're living. That's not a fair assessment of the world we live in now. Like we live in a free world. We live in a, we live in a democratic world. Everyone is different in their own ways. And so it's not a fair assessment for people to be attacking other people just because they're different and they're the minorities and just because some because people it, it originated from their country. That is not a fair assessment. That is really is not a fair assessment in my opinion. To me, but, the worst part is COVID-19, a virus originating from we all know where. If a virus isn't discriminating, why are we? You know what I'm saying? Like, if we know that it can spread to anyone at any place, it doesn't start, it doesn't start and end at the same place. Then I don't understand where this discrimination is coming from. Because remember, the attacks and the hate crimes that me and my partner Dante have been saying this whole time has been targeted towards elderly people, and some of them not even actually from China. The place that the people are quote-unquote hating on right now you know and my personal take on this is just like i don't understand i don't go i don't understand what goes through their minds through people's minds in situations like this like what and the specific people right they're not just they're trying to attack a huge group but this originated in one place in one nation so like one tiny area in a huge nation but they're attacking a wider group I think that's incredibly unfair and it's hostile and it's just trespassing human rights. You know what I'm saying? Because they're t- basically targeting a race. This is terrorism. Asian, <laughs> because it, it. Because Asians, we are, we are a race. We're a race of people. Like, especially that's why, like, we you know, our, like me and my partner here are addressing this because both of us are Asian, so we have a right to be offended at Asia this Asia is because, a whole continent, not just the whole one continent, or three exactly. countries. It's a multitude of countries in a continent. So, like, that spreads throughout Asia, like Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, like, a lot of China, Philippines, a lot of countries. So, it's really, so, you, yes, Asian American, Asians might be minorities in Mm -hmm. America, but that does not make the minorities in the world. They are actually, in fact, Asians are actually, in fact, one of the most, like, the most majority in, in terms of race in, 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 in the population, world. World population. Population, yeah, because Asians, because this is the world. Like, a quarter of the world, or, or like, like, a quarter of the world-ish, is Asia. Yeah. So, what does that say? And China has the biggest population in the world of around, what, a billion people? Billion two, pe- 2 billion people. India also has a big population as well. Indonesia has a big population as well. So, like, what does that mean? Does that make us a minority population in the world? It does not, doesn't it? It does not make us a minority. We're actually a majority. So, like, but then at the end of the day, the Asian hate crime that happens right now in the U.S., like, it stems or the root cause of it is racism. What they're using... COVID-19 as an excuse. excuse to make this a whole nother problem, which is not fair. Same as racism. Racism really isn't fair anymore because come on, we live in a tw- we live in the 21st century. Everyone is different. Everyone is different in their own rights. So I really don't understand why people are still being racist about the fact that, oh yeah, Asian American, there's still Asians in our country and Asian America. It's not fair. It's not a fair assessment because of the fact that 
at the same time, like every country like has a minority and we have to learn to respect that Indonesia, like for example, we're majority of Muslims, but our minorities are like Christians, Hindu, Buddhist. And we have to, and you have to, we have to learn to live with that because that what's make, that is what makes us the diverse country. Same as every other country in the world. That's what, that's how the way of life is. So then, like, it really doesn't make sense why, like, Americans would want to, like, would want to attack Asians, like, due to racism, part of, particularly due to racism, considering, like, it's always such a big thing now. It's violating human rights. It's no longer a question of morals and ethics. It's not a question of human rights. Because why are you attacking people who are harmlessly walking the streets, like, minding their own business, and they're elderly as well? Why would you be doing that? Like, they, they don't have, they have no intention to harm, but yet you just have to attack them. People just kept attacking them. And I, like, saw, like, I, saw an elderly, I saw an elderly Asian woman that got, um, that got attacked and then robbed. Like, what are you on? So, now that we've addressed that, last thing that, I think we should mention. Do not stand idly in these situations, okay? I've seen I see, a lot of these attacks, I'm gonna be fair, they're taken like where everyone's not looking, okay? Um but whatever there's but I do see sometimes acts of discrimination, acts of hate that happen, and no one does anything. But understand that there are ways to help. And more importantly, there's also ways to help this movement, one of which and believe it or not, is through donations. And I'm, I've am i opened up a couple websites and I'm just going to say it, say it out loud, some of them right here. Um, specifically towards Asian Americans, there is the, the Asian American Legal Defense Education Fund, Asian Americans Advancing Justice, Hate is a Virus, AAPI, Women Lead, Women Lead, Women Lead, Stop AAPI Hate, AAPI Community Fund, National Organization of Asians and Pacific Islanders Ending Sexual Violence, and many more. There are donation places to donate, and every penny helps. Every penny can help. But I think that what we should elaborate more on is what we can personally do in a moment, right? If we were in a scenario where we were witnessing an act of hate, act of violence, don't stand still, okay? Find it deep within yourselves, the sense of being human, and that's to care and to take care of one another. No, you agree? I agree because... Like, especially for us Asians, you know, like, we have to, we have to keep watch over everyone. Like, we have, we have to see United because this, uh, the, the actions that they are doing is attacking not just the minority in America, they're attacking our whole race. They're attacking, they're attacking, like, what we stand for. They're attacking for who we really are. They're attacking our way of life, which is not true, which is, like, just definitely unacceptable. We cannot accept that. I mean, we have to do something about it, which is why there's still all the Stop Asian Hate Crimes um, rallies and like protests that's happening right now in uh, the U.S. for the past few months since since our 2021. And like, there are a lot of ways that you can contribute towards this, like towards Stop. You can like always just like you know like like what they always said before, like join an organization, raise awareness, like tell people as much as you can about what's happening. And tell them to spread it to other people as well, because the more people knows about this, and the more people raise awareness about what's happening, the more united we will be to counter back against what's happening, so that the world will finally know what's happening in America, and that they should stop it because this they really are interfering with the with a race, not a group of people, but an entire race that that basically sets up fifty percent of the world's population. Or even more, because China is one billion, so that's one billion. There's seven billion people, so that's one billion. And then China's like one billion, so that's and then like and then one billion from China, like around two hundred million from Indonesia, and there's also Singapore, Malaysia, like there's a lot. So just just raise awareness, like to as much people as you can, and that's basically all you can do. Because if you raise awareness and you speak out about about what's happening your voices will be heard and then the more voices that are heard will be even better because that will present a united front towards stopping this issue once and for all we have been facing so much throughout the past two years the pandemic and everything else we do not need another incident like this to happen again 
COVID-19 is already impacting everyone in such harsh way. This Asian hate crime is the least thing we want that's added to our plate right now. Everyone's fearing their lives due to the pandemic and, and everything. The last thing they need is to be fearing their lives because of racism that's happening in a country. That's the last thing people want and need. United. And we need like forget we need to stop what's happening, this act of aggression, because technically this is an act of, an act against human rights that we need to fight against. Um, I think I think that's it for me. Is that it for you? Uh, your um, mic. Oh, okay. oh, that's All it right. for me. Yeah. All right. I think it's. Uh, I think it's okay to wrap it up. Another. And that's it for today, everybody. Well, everyone, we hope you had a good, uh, informative, informative time listening to us. Uh, maybe you learned a thing or two. Maybe we help confirm your suspicions or like. Like, or like your wanderings about anything or maybe you even found something wrong with us and you probably will cancel us with the information we have said hopefully but not that matter yeah hopefully not of course for that matter don't judge us because this is a very opinionated like um like podcast and everyone is entitled to an opinion and me and they are speaking this from our point of view everyone has different points of views right though like yes like you can like you can agree or disagree with what we say but at the same time do not judge us Everyone has a right to be opinionated. We are entitled to, for our opinion. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. And uh, do apologize if this video is not too long, if there's not as much editing as it was in episode three. We are going on time constraints as next week we've got exams and whatnot. Anyways, and once we're again, we're going to be filming another podcast. Yeah, we're going to be filming another forget, podcast soon. Another podcast. Two episodes. It's going to be longer than this one, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, it's hopefully going to be and, longer uh, than this one. Yeah. Anyways, once again, it's been Dante Doe, and thank you for joining us on the 2D podcast. Have a nice day and stay safe.